Ladies, it's Stephanie here from Oh Year Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to another tutorial. Tonight is a late night crafting session. It's well after 11 o'clock at night, but I wanted to show you this very simple, easy tutorial, a craft that can be both for just for a winter decor as well as a holiday piece if you choose to do so. So let's roll that intro and we'll jump into it. Guys, I'm so excited about this. All you need for this particular tutorial is a glass jar. Oh my god, some Epsom salt. Why are these always so heavy? And handy dandy Mod Podge. I have used Elmer's glue in a pinch, but Mod Podge is the way to go when you're doing this. All right, let's bring the camera on down and we will show you this tutorial and then we're gonna decorate even more this jar once we get, did you hear that? No, it probably didn't, no just in my head. All right, let's jump into the tutorial and I'll show you how to decorate this easy, simple jar, any kind of jar. Spaghetti jar, salsa jar, mason jar, a, a jar, you get the idea. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to cover our jar in Mod Podge. Now this is a fresh new jar of Mod Podge, so I'm not really worried about cross-contamination, but normally what you want to do, don't dip your brush directly into the Mod Podge, put it in a some sort of cup or something else and spread out your glue that way. You do want to give it a nice thick layer of Mod Podge. The beautiful thing about Mod Podge is it goes on this white milky kind of color, but it will dry clear once it's done uh, curing and drying similar to glue, but a little bit of a different consistency. In a pinch, you can use Elmer's glue for this particular tutorial, but I find that Elmer's glue, or kind of school glue, you are gonna lose a little bit more of that Epsom salt than if you went with straight Mod Podge. So again, nice heavy handed of the glue as we go around. I am putting this over a box, and you'll see why in just a second because we're gonna get real messy real fast but in the best way possible like this is a fun messy craft but you definitely want to make sure that you have all your stuff ready to go all right glue is set good to go I'm gonna grab a cup or if you have a glass some sort of container and we're grabbing Epsom salt and you're just gonna dump a ton of it on there. And I will go in and I'll pick up all the extra Epsom salt. I use, when I'm using Epsom salt for a project, I use that specifically for projects. So whether I'm filling up some cake stands to make it look like snow for the season, if I'm doing these fun winter jars. Now, I do have a little bit that I'm seeing, like there's a little piece right here that I must not have gotten glue on. Now this is where, now I don't want to put my wonderful, actually we're just going to do this. I do not want to put my brush back in there because otherwise now I'm going to have Epsom salt sticking on there. All right, so that's done. Shake it off. Now you will have a little bit more excess coming off afterwards. That's totally normal. If you want, you can seal this afterwards with another, you could go over again with Mod Podge or put in like a polyacrylic type spray over the top of it, seal it up. But we're gonna let it just sit and I'm gonna show you with the magic of film what it looks like once it's completely dry and then we're gonna make an arrangement with this as well. Okay, so after about 24 hours or so, this is what happens to your Epsom salt. It gets a lot whiter. Actually, I wanna say this is probably more than 24 hours. It's probably, um, maybe 48 hours. It gets a lot more white and snow covered. Now I did use uh, Elmer's glue for this particular one, but it normally does the same thing no matter what. Um, the Elmer's glue, it just more of the Epsom salt falls off I find. So what we're gonna do next is we're first gonna decorate the jar itself 
and then we'll put stuff in the jar to finish off our arrangement. So the thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just grabbing a couple pieces of greenery, not a lot, just a little, little bit of some sprigs, and I am going to take some twine and just wrap around that ever, like not kind of willy-nilly in all honesty. Let's bring you down so you can see what we're doing with the rest of this. So now what I'm going to do is now that that's wrapped around like that, I am going to keep this over here and I'm going to take my other piece of twine and I'm going to wrap it around my jar a whole bunch of times. And I'm going to wrap it around the top of that greenery as well. Okay, now that we're kind of there, I'm gonna bring this one around and we're gonna tie that off nice and tight. Okay, now we have this beautiful, this is gorgeous as it is, you can pop in a little tea light, like a little battery operate, operate, operated, jeez Louise, operated tea light, you can put that in there. Also, there's my puppy. Also, you could add um, a couple like twinkle lights in there and it would be super cute as well, lit up. But what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna add some greenery. So I've got some soft pine here. All of this you can find at ohyourlovely.com. So what we have for this arrangement is I have some soft pine. We're gonna pop that in first. That's gonna give us our height. And these pine cones, that's okay. They're gonna go straight in there. That's fine. Simple Simon. Really, really easy. We also have this red berry pick. I don't know. I think I said this before, but I don't know what it is, but as soon as you read at red berries to anything, it's like Christmas immediately. And then we have this paper flower that you can find also at ohyourlovely.com. We also have some paper flowers that are super fun and gorgeous. Look at that red. We're going to put that in there. We'll grab some brew Nia. This is so simple to do, like, just pop it all in there, you're good to go. I lost a couple branches, it's all right, it happens. We have these weird little tentacle arms. We'll grab that in there, so we get some brew, neat, uh, and then I'm gonna add a couple little red pieces of globe amaranth in this red color, also kind of mimicking that berry feel. And we'll just do three of those sprinkled throughout our arrangement. And for some reason, I got this on my table too. So we'll just add it, why not? We'll add that to, we'll add that to the side. Just to kind of carry up our pine from the bottom to our pine in the top. There you go, simple Simon. All right, guys, how easy was that? Just a couple of pieces of greenery, the pine in particular, some berries, a couple flowers. You could absolutely add solo wood flowers in there if you wanted instead, but we threw in one of our paper flowers that we carry at ohyourlovely.com, as well as a couple little extra pieces at the bottom just to tie it all together. I'm gonna scoot in a picture real quick of a stylized tablescape that we recently did with a whole bunch of these jars just to give you kind of a feel and I think I'm pretty sure for that all we used was a little bit of pine on all of the jars and it's so stinking pretty so all right guys I hope you love this tutorial if you have questions like always drop them in the comments we'll answer them as soon as possible if you're loving these tutorials can't get enough want to know when the next one goes live make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solar flowers as well as greenery and craft supplies go to ohyourlovely.com and until next time this is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely and you my friends are absolutely lovely. Bye guys!